neurodiversity means to me the fact that we all have different minds and different brains. I'm part of the 20% of the world's uh, population that is neurodistinct in some manner. And this is a beautiful thing that should be celebrated. I've been able to really see it as a bit of a superpower and focus on the positives that it gives me. My first event that I went to after getting my diagnosis was definitely very eye-opening to how little consideration there is for neurodivergent people at those kind of events. Being autistic, I'm, I'm sensitive from, from smells, from sights, from, from audio. Uh, so all the things that, that folks would basically come into this jubilant uh, environment are things that actually wear me down. And I say to them, look, I'm, I'm autistic. I'm really struggling with the crowds and the noise. Is there any way that I can wait off to the side while my partner goes in and does the whole ticket process um, and I can just be away from the crowds and just try to regulate myself? Most of the time somebody is going to pass on an event because they think they're going to be overwhelmed. Uh, so this is extremely important, uh, you know, to, to foster in belonging. It changed my life <laughs> in a way, you know, knowing that someone had seen me, they didn't question me, they didn't push back they were there to support me. When people see my neurodivergent needs as being worthy of being accommodated, it feels like they are seeing my whole personhood. Not every place is a safe place. Um, so it's our job as advocates and parents and um, communities like the new project to make sure as many places as possible are safe places. Building a community for the new project has been really exciting. Being able to open other people's eyes to the whole world of neurodiversity has been a really rewarding experience. This is hours and hours and hours and weeks and weeks of research and listening to neurodivergent voices across the globe. Frankly, it's really validating to see that one of the largest organizations in the world, Google, is helping to set a standard for neuroinclusion that honors the challenges that we've had to navigate independently and sometimes very quietly and sometimes very painfully. Neurodiversity is being put on a map and not just a small map, but a global map. And it's being put at the center of a really important thing that we all take part in throughout our lives, which is events. Like I'm sure any event planner or coordinator, they're thinking about how people are going to feel at the end of that day of that conference. You know, you maybe want them to feel inspired or empowered or ready to take action. And they're not going to do that if the actual event, the environment um, and everything in included in that isn't inclusive for them. Without inclusion, we are literally breaking our trust contract with our audiences and our attendees. We can't expect them to engage. I can't wait till I walk into an international office and see the little new project certified, uh, you know, sign as I walked in. Uh, you know, I just can't wait for those days. So having a resource and a guide for neurotypical event planners to utilize um, will be amazing. I want this to be a tool to help neurodiversity and neurodivergence become part of the broader DNI lexicon and language. Neurodivergent people are underrepresented in that space right now, and so I hope the new project can help with that. For me, it's not so much like why inclusion, it would be why not inclusion. So by designing for inclusion, neuroinclusion specifically, we can create better standards for people who might just be neurotypical, but maybe introverted um, or struggle with sensory processing. Talking about my neurodiversity has just helped me unmask, which in turn has just made me more authentic and allow me to engage other people and help them feel seen. And that's my goal, you know, look left, look right, congratulations, you're all part of neurodiversity.